वेलकम टू एच टू के इन्फोसिस एच टू के इन्फोसिस इज अ ई वेरीफाइड बिजनेस बेस्ड इन अटलांटा जॉर्जिया यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वी प्रोवाइड हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब ओरियंटेड इंस्ट्रक्टर लेड फेस टू फेस थ्रू लाइव ऑनलाइन सॉफ्टवेयर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूड्स एक्सेस टू क्लाउड टेस्ट लैब विद सॉफ्टवेयर टूल्स वी प्रोवाइड लाइव प्रोजेक्ट फॉर यू टू वर्क ऑन वी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड असिस्टेंस विद मॉक इंटरव्यूज resume preparation and review and job placement assistance h2k infosys is trusted by so many students across the world h2k infosys provides world class services in it training with real time project work for corporates and individuals special it training for ms students in the united states software design development QA manual and automation performance testing and maintenance IT staff augmentation job placement assistance and tech support RD that is nothing but my importance of the test cases and see the reason right why we are using this uh, priority means that right? say for example if you are having very less time and if we want to execute that test cases uh, within that uh, time frame and if we don't have time to execute each and every test case then what you can do you can prioritize the test cases that means what you can do you can take all the high priority test cases first you can complete the execution for high priority and if time permits then we will go to that medium and if time permits again then only i will go to my low priority test cases so such kind of situation always your high priority high priority will be i mean priority column will be really helpful during your any time constraint situation no not like that this is not uh, i mean right what you can do is right this can be used for your uh, normal um, web testing also just you can remove this one devices you can remove this. you can use the same template for your uh, like web testing also it will work it will work for your uh, web testing also both the places it will work now my priority and preconditions all right so preconditions are nothing but before executing that particular test case right what is the prerequisite you can write your precondition and what is your test case description you can write your description here and then what is the expected result your expected results will come from your srs right what you can do is you can go to that srs and you can get that uh, expected result for that particular requirement once it is done expected result then right what i will do i will write my actual result during yeah you can use this uh, now what you can do is you can uh, write this actual result during your test execution and if my both expected and actual results are matching then i can write my status as pass for my iphone and here right i am dividing into different devices because i need to test in iphone android windows blackberry like this. now if both are matching we will say that pass fail windows mobile right windows also one operating system right uh, you can see that nokia uh, nokia lumia is there right lumia is a windows software right windows is one os now here who tested and comments and also i mean if you want right you can also include your test data right you can also include your test data here uh os for Bla uh, blackberry i told in that last session that right, you have some ppt you can go back now here right here i did not include my test steps i don't want i mean right what i do what i will do is right i will write entire description in a single line itself otherwise what you can do is right you can insert one more column that's the thing right so this is my template and also now and also if you observe here and also what i will do is i will use the sheet for each and everything like first what i will do right i will check uh, right whether i am able to download my software with the help of portrait 
landscape. I will explain what is portrait and what is landscape in few minutes. And then what I will do is I will write my functionality and UI part when I am working with portrait mode. Similarly, right, I am doing my functionality and UI when I am in the landscape mode. And here, right, this is the important part of our uh, testing. Now, when you observe here, so right, these these many devices I tested. See how many devices I tested. These many devices I tested as part of my testing. So many devices. See, many devices we have. So I tested in all these devices. Now let me explain you what is the difference between a portrait and landscape mode. Then we will come back to right. This is your uh, portrait mode and uh, landscape mode. This is called orientation. So this is uh, nothing but orientation in the technical uh, word, right? Technical term is nothing but orientation. That means right, how you are using your uh, mobile. What is the display of your mobile? So when you are using your mobile like this, this is called you are in the portrait mode. And when you are displaying your uh, mobile like this, that is called your landscape. This is nothing but your uh, when you are opening your mobile, this is your screen, main screen. So my main screen, how it is looks like. That is nothing but my portrait and this is my landscape. So what will happen is, Right, uh, when you are working with the mobile app, they will clearly mention whether this app is supporting with uh, portrait and landscape mode or not. They will clearly mention. And as part of our application, uh, when we discuss our requirements, right, one of the requirements says that application will support landscape mode. That means that right, my application will support both my portrait and landscape mode. So when you are working with your landscape and portrait mode, what I will do is, right, I will check that whether I'm changing my orientation mode from portrait to landscape or even vice versa, right? You have to make sure that right, the application is automatically adjusted as per the screen size. And if you see that any alignment issues or any resolution issue, whatever may be the issue, you can log it as a different. That means, right, when you are changing your orientation, then you can check that whether this uh, application automatically adjusted along with your uh, screen size. Right. Fine. And what you want to yeah. yeah. Thank you. And when, right, when you are changing your uh, mode from uh, portrait to landscape, what you need to check is, right, you need to check that UI is properly aligned. Because, right, I don't think functionality will be any issue, right, so functionality will work properly. But most of the times, you will get the issues for your uh, UI only. When you are changing the mode from portrait to landscape, then you can uh, check that it is application is uh, fitting properly or it is automatically adjust based on your screen size. Because we will test that application with uh, many devices, like many screens. Because if you observe here, if you observe here, see, I'm testing my application with a different uh, screen sizes. These are all my screen sizes. So when you're testing these kinds of uh, screen sizes, right, what I will do when I'm changing my orientation, right, I have to make sure that my application is properly, right, uh, it is properly, I mean, it should properly adjust as per my screen size. Fine. Uh, in few games, there are, uh, they are set to one kind, like either it is a landscape or portrait. In such cases, uh, how do we test? For yeah. example, uh, Angry Birds is placed only on uh, landscape mode. Yeah, I mean, like, say for example, if they are saying that it should not support your uh, landscape, then what I will do? 
uh, while testing i will check that each and every screen i will try to check in the landscape mode right uh, then probably right you may get some message saying that uh, right it will not support in landscape mode or nothing will happen to your application that is based on your business like uh, what your team is decided whether we want to show some message or well, like right, we will not show anything but uh, simply right when a user is trying to go with landscape mode nothing will happen like that so that case will that be given in the requirement itself yes yes they have to they have to right if okay. they are not providing that requirement as a tester i will go back and i will ask them right are we are we supporting landscape mode for the page work? right they will come back with the answer if they say that yes i will test each and everything if they say that no then i will again ask them ask the query saying that in such cases if we are not supporting landscape mode what kind of message we are showing to the end user are we showing any message or what is the strategy you can go back and you can ask that query Uh, Mr. Prasad, I have a question. Uh, in the display size, you mentioned the dimension size. Um, right, right. Yeah. So in the uh, so uh, while doing the landscape uh, testing uh, mode, uh, landscape mode testing, do we uh, consider the dimensions like do we uh, reverse the dimensions like length into the instead of? No, no, no. That, no, no. It will automatically adjust. That is not our problem. Like right. That is a size only. Right. That so, is designing. That, that yeah. Is, that is. I mean. No, uh, right. Nowhere we will change that uh, size and all. Right, we will automatically change. That is not our problem. Okay, we have to check whether all the all yes, the menu like all yes. the tabs fits into that. Uh, yeah, we have to check whether it is adjusting properly. Okay. Now. Prasad. Hello. Yeah. Yes, Prasad. Yeah. Uh, so if we are working on a real, no, real time, and we are working on a real device, it would be similar like our phones, right? Like yes, yes. an iPhone or a Galaxy phone and all. And, right, right. Uh, we are we are taking that phone. We are checking a uh, different features like whether it's getting into landscape mode, portrait mode, or what all the features are there. Yeah, is incoming messages are. You know, we we could receive the messages. Calls are going. I mean, when it when when it comes to the real time, when uh, it does it work like that, or is it is in a different way? Like no, no, have... same manner. See, there is no difference. Like right, whatever we are discussing, right, same way we will test any application. There is no difference. Okay, but if we are not, uh, if we don't have an app, uh, if we don't have a mobile in our hand, then we try to. Take, then we uh, try to uh, uh, use emulators or some other. Um, yeah. See, so emulator also we will discuss, but emulator we have some limitations. Like how we will do this uh, uh, orientation testing, you cannot do in the emulator, right? Mm -hmm. So you I mean, with, yeah. So before before getting the real device, we we te we try to test. Uh, The feed, we try to test through some of the auto automation tools, or or with the help of test cases, we try to test. That that's what we are doing, right? Before we get the real device in our hand, that's that's how how actually things work in the actually, in the real. Right. No, no. Here, right. Uh, what I I'm trying to do is that in this basic course, I'm trying to do it. I mean, by explaining that entire stuff to start off with your uh, mobile application testing. that means once you got any mobile application testing how to start off your testing that's what i'm trying to explain and what i will do is by tomorrow i mean tomorrow what i will do is i will uh, execute this uh, test cases on our uh, emulator right and we will see that because right i cannot execute in the physical device because i cannot show that physical device and all right so i will see that execution probably by tomorrow now let me complete this uh, remote thing that's all one quick question sir Yeah. Uh, in the Excel sheet, you have shown the dimensions. Uh, so, uh, as a tester, like, how are we concerned with the dimensions, with the numbers? Like, uh, uh, this, we don't. Yeah, I will come back here. I will come back. But I mean, this will not make any sense for us. Like, right? Just right. Uh, as a tester, right? What I will do? Okay, this is a small screen. This is a big screen. That's it. As a tester, I don't mind what kind of uh, length they are using. Under 
right uh, from my point of view what i will do right i will say that like uh, this is a small chain this is a big chain this is a medium chain that too i mean layman terms okay fine now right uh, what we will do is right uh, if just now i told you like right if there is any right uh, if uh, our requirements are not supporting landscape or portrait mode then i need to check the behavior of each and every page in the application what's happening if it is not supporting landscape mode what kind of message we are showing to the end user fine So, sir, but there are some applications which do not support either landscape or portrait, but they are not uh, popping up any mess pop up message is not shown actually. Yeah, that is that is your, their business, like uh, right, okay. uh, what their business is decided. So, what we will do, right? Uh, if the business is decided, they don't want to show any message, we will go with that, right? As a tester, right? I will raise my concern, but end of the day, right? If the business is decided, they don't want to show that uh, message. Yeah, I'm good, right? Okay. So I'm giving that both the sides. Like, right? As a tester, what questions you can ask, and end of the day, what is the answer? So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.